A classic comeback in Denver last week. The Chargers hosted the Cincinnati Bengals in a home opener that wasn't a sellout. If you didn't go to the stadium, you missed a great performance. First quarter, Stan Humphreys to Tony Martin, deep 61 yards, down to the Cincinnati 25. That would set up John Carney, a 33-yard field goal, right down central, 3-0 Chargers. Darnay Scott returns to the stadium, this time in a Bengals uniform, not an Aztecs uniform. He played well. Eight yards here on the screen pass, and after this, He's going to pick up 16 on the reverse. Well, Darnay did a great job today of coming in and doing what he was called to do. That's run and catch the ball. Here he shows a lot of speed and strength. Now, a Cincinnati penalty gave the Chargers new life inside the five in the second quarter. Natron Means took advantage of it. A three-yard touchdown, 10-3 San Diego. How about Eric Bieniemy on this run? Well, Stoney, Eric has done a good job of this year of holding on to the ball and, as you see here, hitting the hole with authority, and that's made a big difference for him this season. 13-3 Chargers late in the first half. Cincinnati driving. Here's a key play in my mind. David Klingler back. Is hit, fumbles, Chris Mims forced it, and Blaze Winter recovered the fumble. Blaze went out later in the ballgame with a knee injury. Then late in the first half, Klingler just throws it up the Hail Mary, and the horse is there. Sean Van Horse with the pick for that Chargers secondary that played pretty well today. 13-3 at the half, on to the third quarter. The defense forces another turnover. Ben don't break, huh? I don't know if it's a Ben don't break, but break, but they're taught to come up with turnovers in crucial times, and the Chargers defense did it time and time again today. Third down and eight, Stan Humphreys to Mark Say. You gotta like Say. He had a big afternoon. He's wide open here, a 49-yard touchdown. 20 to three, Chargers. In the fourth quarter, the Bengals try and make some noise, though. Klingler to Harold Green, he'll get in, just breaks the plane from six yards out, it's 20 to 10. Then the defense comes through again, Darnay made a mistake on this play. Well, they ran this play about three or four times today, and you can't go to the cookie jar too many times before being caught. That was Rayleigh Johnson with a tackle there, then Humphreys to Say again, second touchdown of the day for Say, third on the season, it's a 27-10 final. The Chargers beat the Cincinnati Bengals at the stadium this afternoon to go Two and all on a young season. First time since 1981. Natron means over 100 yards. And Gil, you've got to like not only the way the defense played, but let's talk about the offense and let's talk at the same time about how that Charger offense is really balanced right now. In, in this series, Gary, we got a, we got a very good ball game. From the 40, they start Denver's end of the field. Natron means cut back. Good vision. He's down to the 30, still winding his way to the 29, and that is what you see in all out. Means again behind Papuno, the lead blocker this time. Humphreys. Harmon can't quite get there. Humphreys going deep, save, wide open. Touchdown! That's his first career catch. Hey, hey, if you're gonna make one, your first career catch, make it for a touchdown. He dropped two, but then comes back and gets these Chargers right back in the ball game. And Stan Humphreys has hung in there to go for two points again. To go for two points again. Five to three. Humphreys double pumping back to the end zone. Nothing there. He has an awful lot of confidence in his arm, but he was trying to drill that in among three defenders, three white jerseys. And the guy right there, Stanley Richard, read it perfectly, made a good catch because the ball was thrown hard. And a pretty good escort he had. And I, honestly, I'm shocked San Diego's ahead this time. Give the, the Chargers some credit here. They have really battled back. Remember now, Denver led at one time 17 to nothing. And you were talking about the fact that the Chargers didn't want to give up this touchdown after building up such momentum. Yeah. How about this for a momentum shift? Unbelievable. Now they say officially it's 99 yards on the return by Stanley Richard. Well, remarkably with the lead. Jefferson in motion. Ronnie Harmon off the right side, and he's going to walk in for two. This is an incredible turnaround in this football game. You're on the road. You're playing in their backyard. It's a tough one for you. This is like the Boston Garden was for the Celtics. It's hard to win here, but the Chargers are right back and with a three-point lead. This has been a phenomenal half for the Chargers. And I'm looking forward to our Fruit of the Loom halftime report. See what Lawrence Taylor and his cohorts have to say about it. Remarkable first half. What a way to start the regular season on TNT. 
Jeffries. The Natron means means bounces off a big Stan Brock. Humphrey's good protection. Now gets it off far side. Can take a means. It's a flag on the play as he makes a middle. Um, pitch comes to Eric Kiannimi. Enemy made, able to make the first man miss and then knocked down short of the 10 yard line by Alfred Denver. Ronnie Harmon makes a nifty move and goes in. in the corner he was with and Carney who had a career year last year hitting 29 field goals in a row which is an NFL record twice hitting six in a game has given San Diego a 30 to 27 lead Natron means again changes direction stiff arms the man and runs hard to get a couple of yards Papunu Papunu to the 40 landing inside the 35 breaks one or two tackles and almost broke it came out at the 20 first it close to the 15 yard line he's one of those backs Pat that seems to get stronger as the game wears on say with your linebackers out your strong safeties out it's a second and short you got a running back like Natron means I say keep working give him and here's the guy you're just talking about and moving the pile and gets the first one. Jefferson comes in motion. Means almost slips down, stays on his feet. And in motion. The enemy straight ahead and powers his way. He may have a first and goal, and I think he does. <laughs> and they've had the ball over nine minutes on this drive. Means big collision at the goal line. Looked like he wanted to go. The corner in motion. Play action. Humphreys. Backside. Oh. Deans may. And off means diving touchdown, San Diego, and they've taken the lead. Boy, that was a real gut check drive, wasn't it? They just kept hammering, hammering, and finally means culminates it with a one-yard drive. Yeah, Carney's point after there's a flag. The kick get the hold. The kick up by Carney, and he got it. And again, a very important one, giving them the three-point advantage. 37-34 with 4.01 left in the game. Leonard Russell. Zeelander throws the block. Russell to two. A little shovel pass to Bernstein. First down to 40. He's to the 50. Elway, pressure up the middle. Throws near side. Mike Pritchard makes a catch. As we have 2.12 left in the game. This time, Elway keeps it and throws it, and Bernstein is tackled. Flags everywhere. Elway underthrows this one, intended for Anthony Miller. It's picked off by Stanley Richard. Now, is it a free play because of the penalty flag? That's one of those yeah. plays, those underthrows that they call and company on the move. Elway to Miller and Dwayne Harper. The move back, Bernstein and Boyd. Elway sprinting. And the ball came loose. Get out of his hands. It threw it. He started to throw it. It came loose, and I think Seau got it. It's like incredible. He started to throw it, and the ball just came out of his grasp. You know, I've seen that happen to quarterbacks on a, on a wet day, on a rainy day, on snowy days, but not a day like that, like tonight. That will go as the third interception of the night, but what a bizarre ending to this game. But absolutely fitting that if someone was going to intercept it, it was going to be Junior Seau. Now, Elway is rolling to the right. I don't think he has a lot going here. I think he was just going to throw this ball out of the end zone. Just comes loose. And there's Seau. Wow. We, we said Seau was always around the ball. We said Seau was one of the biggest game changers in the NFL. And once again, he does it. I mean...